Do you want to have the monorail go through an operating Jurassic World gate without mods? Then grab your ticket and come aboard. Hello everybody and welcome to a tips, tricks, and glitches video in Jurassic World Evolution 2, where in today's video I shall show you how to have a working Jurassic World gate with the monorail with no mods required. Alright guys, now that you've gotten the intro, let's get into it. We'll just move over right about here. This is the open spot, and I know this... Jesus, this map is way fuller of stuff than I remembered it. But anyway, so, first step... Well, I don't know why I changed it there. First step we need to go through is making the monorail itself, which... Yeah, yeah, tracking complete. And... This is probably going to be a shorter one. But we don't really need to worry about the length too much for this video, because, well, I'm just showing you guys the template. You can make these as long as you wish. Oh yeah, there's a Brachiosaurus, I forgot. Oops. Alright, so we'll just start, yay, there, and then we'll extend this to about there. Or, you know, we'll just go as far as we can and then see how far far you know the other one all right so next we need to give our little terrain thing because sometimes for some reason if you don't do this i've seen from some people that it just doesn't work for them if they don't have like that terrain elevation little cheeky thing but anyway so let's move until we're about there yep and that's where it's hitting we'll go again oh too far austin there we go and oh now I gotta move that one. One more time. There we go. And I'll probably just move this like a few more times or until like I get to the end here because it doesn't need to be that long. One more time. Can we get it? Oh, no. Maybe one more? Or is it gonna give me the red? It does not. So we'll just, we'll keep it there, okay? So now let's get the terrain higher than ever. Specifically, Let's say, yeah, that's a good height, actually. And we'll, we'll just flatten it around. You know, you don't, I don't think I need to showcase it completely perfect. But as you can see, we got the monorail glitch activated. It's fully working. And uh, we'll just, well, we'll do it in a minute. Next, we need a Jurassic World one. Also, a little thing is, nope, we need attractions, Austin. That's the right one. Also note, if you want to use the Jurassic Park gate, then you need to use a Jurassic Park themed um, exhibit, so that way you get the Jurassic Park one. And if you're just using the uh, decoration, where is it? Oh, we need to go down one. If you're just using, uh, let's see, this um, gate, then you can do this one like without the rest of the tips that I'm going to tricks or glitches that you need to use. All you need to do is the monorail one and then this. And as you can see, we're a little bit lower than I would like. So actually, I'm going to raise the terrain just a wee bit more. All right. Now, we need a gyrosphere, which I just went in the wrong one again. We'll go with a gyrosphere just because they hide better, I guess. All right. So... We'll just go right there, and what I'll do is we'll place the gate wherever I want, so we'll go, you know what, right here is fine. Also, um, as I'll show you in a second with that monorail, you can go more than just a straight line, actually, and we need to edit you, so let's grab you, and also note, you have to put the gate on first before you do the track, otherwise it won't let you um, connect them for some reason. It's a weird thing with the gates, but basically it's like, oh, nope, I can't connect to this. So even Rexy agrees. Alright, and then you can go as far as you need the gyrospheres to go, which is there, so... Well, actually, no, I need them to go the other way, so I don't care. It doesn't matter as long as they keep they get the gate open. And then what we'll do is we will not demolish this guy. Well, you can, but as long as it doesn't destroy the gate or all of the um, path. And then we'll go there. 
and then all we need to do is edit the path to connect with the end pieces which as you can see it's stopped at the gate so we'll go about there and then all the way down okay how did that I uh, never mind no that's that's its own problem but how the frick did that work Austin like I was literally doing mini Sorna episodes and I was getting curved to sharp but nope that one I guess it's because it's a hamster ball so I guess different rules apply or something question mark I know, Rexy, it's crazy. And then you just need to have an arrival point to activate the monorail, which for this one, I'll need one as well. I think I just need one, but you know, just in case. Now, in these gates cases, this, not the decoration one, this is just like for the visual satisfaction. But you know what? It's still awesome, guys. And that is it. Now, back to voiceover Austin to give you some B-roll outro. And with that seamless transition underway, I want to thank you all for sticking around and to tell you that you are amazing and that there are so many glitches to go through and I appreciate you choosing this video and I hope that this trick inspires you in your park builds in the future. Thank you so much for watching folks, maybe liking, subscribing, Stay safe, everyone, and remember that you are amazing. Never forget that, and hopefully I'll see you next time. But until then, enjoy yourself.